<laughs> so we've moved away from the house. Last few bits in the house. We haven't moved, like moved out. We've, no. <laughs> we've, we've entered the house. three weeks yet. But we're now... No, we've got two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Just over two weeks. And we've got a load going tomorrow morning. First thing. So, seeing what we can get out of the workshops and barn. Got quite a bit of stuff in here. See how many cables, old cables, is hiding in here. Another one? Uh oh. Electricity cable for the house, though. It's slightly different. What do you think, Storm? setting off again another morning another drive with another load very early in the morning yeah what a heavy load this time tools we have tools and workbench yeah so let's not go fast round corners because we could end up looking like one of those bugs that get stuck upside down <laughs> 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 This is not far from uh, our current home in Normandy. Need some TLC. Just begging for some love, isn't it? Yeah. What a mistake it happened. This is the little town of Fougy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out of your <laughs> right windows of the aircraft, <laughs> you will see the church of Fougy. We are experiencing good weather and we're cruising at an average altitude of six feet <laughs> <laughs> our current speed is around 30 kilometers per hour and our flight time today is expected to be six hours and three minutes this is your captain peter speaking my first officer on the flight deck today is miss anna <laughs> We also have your cabin crew, they're here primarily for your safety. Any problems at all, just press your buzzer and they'll be very happy to help. I'd like to wish you a happy and safe flight. It's your captain out. Bye! <laughs> Look at the hamper we get on this flight. Oh yeah, the service is brilliant. Look, look in here, look. Tomatoes, chocolates. Have you got Red ice? Sticks. Uh, no, sorry, there's no ice. Plastic disposable cups. Um, no, we've got tins though. <laughs> Transit to Le Bouy. We 
waiting service, madam. I have. And you know I have. <laughs> That's Mac. Hang on, I'll come and put that low down. Bonjour. There's Dan. There's Shirley. Hello. Thank you for visiting www.simplychateau.com. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had a lovely Indian meal that Shirley and Mark did. Wonderful. Probably but should have done the thing at the is, beginning. yeah. Well, I didn't think we're so hungry. We this is it. what's left. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. There's not a lot. So that's a good mm. sign. Mm. Okay. Let's press my nose. Nose on. Look, you've always wanted one of those, like haven't you? Yeah. Look, it's very it's cheap. Hona. Squeeze box. Mm. At the moment, we've got so much stuff. Yeah. That's quite. That's, is that quite deco? It is, isn't it? You put bowls on there. You have bowls on there rather than. Look, I've fallen in love with that safari hat. Oh, that's less less. Yeah, but it's not open. He looks expensive though, doesn't he? I don't know. It's a nice, nice little plot, isn't it? Close. It looks, it looks a little German though, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. This is uh, down to the riverside in our new local town, Argentin. This cobble. Quite fast moving, look. This Anna. Okay, the 
this is like a Diagon Alley. Diagon it? Alley? Yeah. Dead end. Oh. Thought it went to the left. Yeah. What they What would you like, sweetheart? These rows. I don't know what they are. They look nice. They look really cute. And the apricot ones. Quite a Oh, and the raspberry ones. The front okay. ones. Were they chocolate? Oh, and these. Chocolate yeah. hearts. And these chocolate yeah. oranges. Chocolate and orange. what Shirley has stood in. Yeah, she stood in bubble gum and now she's all sticky, got a sticky foot. Well, it's got, it's <laughs> when I get off the steps, I'll have to try the bubble gum before you We were not going. <laughs> We found on the way back home. Oh, I'm in I'm in ex military surplus heaven. So I'd love to know what these are. Obviously French army, but the nice thing they've got uh, they've got blackout lights the same as on jeeps, and they've also got like indicator pods that are like on jeeps. So I imagine these are 19 what 50s, 1960s, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these vehicles. As far as you can see. There's another uh, compound behind us, isn't there, full of them? And just when you think it can't get any more, have a look over here, look. You know, it's so sad when you see vehicles that could be put back on the road and used, and they've been here so long, they've got vegetation growing out of them. Look at these. I just want to go in and have a look. I want, I want one. They've got little fold up wind, fold out windscreens. So it makes you wonder why somebody has bought. Why would someone buy all of these vehicles and then not ever do anything with them? Yeah. I'm just trying to but pick look. which one I'd have. <laughs> just look at them all. <laughs> Just make, wants to make you go in there and take a fresh battery 
Find one that looks half decent and ah 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 Next to that pole, to the left of that pole. Yeah, which one? To the left of that pole, it's in the middle. Okay, yeah. Have that one, please. So we go around and have a look and see if there's anything else. We want to see if there's any aircraft or anything. Yeah. Come on then. Okay guys. We're nearly home now, aren't we? Nearly home. Yes, not the new home. <laughs> so let's just answer a few questions that have come up in the comments. How many loads have we done so far? We've done three and two of those were with two vans. Yeah. We're now just doing one van. Um, so we've done five lorry loads, five van loads. Um, yes, five van loads. What have we got left to do? We've got all of the motorbikes and workshop. the workshop, tools. Um, so that'll probably be another two loads. I think workshop and tools will be one load. And then the last thing to go will be the vehicles. The Jeep is going on a trailer and uh, that's going to be stored uh, at a very good friend of ours who's a, a fantastic World War II vehicle collector, a guy called Pete and his wife Marjorie, they're looking after that for us. Um, so we've got one more, one more vehicle, two, two more vehicle loads really. The next visit down is on the 14th um, when we're taking down the caravan and the cats. Yes, the cats have been booked into a category which, check this out guys, what an amazingly small world. The cattery is owned by a lady who Anna said, oh that name rings a bell, bearing in mind it's seven and a half hours from where we live. Anyway, we book in, beautifully communicated, very well done, and then we asked, are you by any chance an estate agent? And uh, she's actually an agent as well, an estate agent, that showed us around some houses we didn't, we didn't buy, but showed us some houses down in the area where we're buying. Anyway, so that's a, a small world and the cats go down there. Uh, so what else have we got to update? We've... Um, well so far the moving in date we're hoping is the 24th of July. Yeah, 24th. We'll have to update you on the next video but we've had some very scary yeah, contract issues which... Yeah. Well at the moment it's picked up again and it's like for the 24th. The 24th, yeah. Thank you to all our followers. Keep following us and supporting us. Yeah, wonderful comments of support yeah. from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's been really, really mean something to us. It's a big boost, isn't it? It is. You feel a bit isolated when you live in another country that's not your home country. Yeah. You feel a bit isolated because you don't have a network around you for immediate sort of support. Uh, support. <laughs> so it's lovely to have that, isn't it? Yeah. very mellow and relaxed going home oh, is because yes. we had an extra night on the hire. <laughs> if you remember the last video we had a nightmare where we hit the barrier yeah. because we were 45 <laughs> minutes late getting the van back. Each time it's been very difficult to get back on time so we paid an extra 50 euros for the morning after. We've got a morning after van. <laughs> so that gets us back so yeah thanks guys. Yeah, see you in the next video. Promise the videos will get better once we get established. Stay with us. Cheerio. Bye.